By the way, don't mind, I have an air conditioner right above me at the gecko. Okay, so check this out. I have a water level set up here with about 125 feet, well, 100 to 120 feet worth of this plastic tubing. And I have it full of water. And we can see that when I hold the two hoses together, that water level is exactly the same on both hoses, which means that I have no air in this system and that the water level is true and level. I'm going to use this to calibrate my uh, Bosch rotary laser. I'm going to set the hose up about 75 to 100 feet apart. Then I'm going to take my laser receiver, shoot in some benchmarks. Then I'll have benchmarks for the laser level and the water level. I'll use my tape measure to measure the difference and see if my Bosch rotary laser level is shooting a line that is not true because we know that the water level is the truest level on planet Earth. So let's get going. I'm just gonna head around to the other corner of this house, making sure that I keep as much of the hose, if not all of the hose in the shade here, just to maintain water temperature. And that will help us to have a more true reading. I'm gonna find the water, which is right there. I'm gonna get it to a point that I'm happy with and that I can work with easily. It's climbing, it's trying to seek level. That looks pretty good. I look like I can work with that. I'm just gonna lock it in behind this nail here. And I'll let the water level sit here for 30 seconds or so, just to level itself out. We get a true reading here. Okay, so the water's had some time to sit. I'm gonna go ahead and make a pencil mark. That looks good there. We'll head around to the other corner and get our mark on that side. We'll get our mark on this side, then head to the opposite corner and see if anything has changed. Let's see if anything's changed on this side. Nope, our water level still looks perfect. Now let's head over to the laser level. Okay, I have my Bosch rotary laser level here. It's spinning, it's zeroed in, and it is ready for the receiver. I have the receiver here, turn it on, set it to its finest setting, and I have the laser level situated to where it can hit both ends of our water level. Let's head on over to this corner and I'll get a reading. All right, let's take a reading with our laser level receiver. We found our laser, let's make our mark. Now back to this corner to get a reading on our laser. We found our laser, let's make our mark. Now we take our tape measure to check if there's any difference in heights on any of these corners. I'm also gonna use a torpedo level to strike level lines, horizontal on these marks, then measure up with a plumb line for a more exact number. I'm gonna go ahead and burn one inch and see what we have. It looks like on this side, it's showing three inches and five sixteenths, but we have to minus one inch because we burned one. So we're at two and five sixteenths inch. Let's see what we have on the other end. I'll strike a line for our water level mark. And I'll strike a line for our laser level mark. I'll strike a plumb line. And let's see what we have. Our measurement is three inches and one quarter. If we minus one inch because we burned one inch, we are at two inches and one quarter on the big side. So it's safe to say that our laser level is out less than a 16th in a run of 75 feet around a corner. And that's how you calibrate a laser level using a water level. Big brain.